Hello Devam Films and hello to my Devam Masculines and welcome into your channel message. Alright guys, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties this week guys so bear with me um, when it comes to you guys' signs and that I want to throw that out there because someone don't want y'all to get these messages but I'm going to get them to y'all. I have dealt with that energy before so I know what that's about. That's an omen for me. So, yeah. So, bear with me on that. Now, let's get back to this channeled message. Someone feels as though you got a misunderstanding. This song that I've been getting for the last uh, few days, um, I will put it on there. Sometimes I sit on my channeled messages longer than that. You guys know that. Um, a lot of my channeled messages are through music. I connect very well with music. Um... Is going to be this lyrical message is a message, um, is a song from Lauren Hill. It's called Miss Education. Her album is off that album. This person wants you to stop worrying because nothing even matters at all. See, nothing even matters. Nothing even matters at all when it comes to you and this person. But you, but you, but you, do you understand what I'm saying? All right, yeah, there we go. Now, I just woke up. You know they don't call me the shaman hummingbird for nothing. So my humming game's a little, little, little off. I, I'm, I'm keeping real with you guys. So I'm not doing my usual Beyonce. I'm going to say Beyonce. I can't do it like Beyonce, but y'all get me. All right. I can't do my Yonce like I usually do, but nothing even matters. See, nothing even matters at all when it comes to you and this person. This person don't give a damn if the boss call. They don't give a shit what's going on. What they said in Ukraine, because nothing matters at all but you. But you... But you. All right, let's go. All right, spirit. What does this person want to say? They're willing to let go of their controlling issues. This person is willing to let go of their controlling issues. Whatever. Thank you, spirit. So this person has controlling issues because nothing even matters at all but you. This person is crazy about you. If you're second guessing this, this is your confirmation. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a confirmation for a lot of you guys. Because you might have felt it but wasn't sure about it. Or there was back and forth. You got to understand, too. Thank you, spirit. Sometimes... When you get real strong connections, they scare you. This could have scared this person... And they could have fell back because of the emotions they had for you because they're not used to not being in control of them. But everything is not about you controlling your romantic feelings of with someone. And this person is willing to let it go for you. Because nothing even matters at all. All right? Okay, spirit. Because you guys are soulmates. <laughs> That's it. And for some of you guys... You did love yourself first. You might have had to pull back. You might have had to get grip on things and things of that nature. Because, you know, like I said, you could have felt weirdness coming from this person. Or this person could have shied away from you. And it's because of the energy that you possess. Your soulmates. They can't control themselves. Nothing even matters. Okay? They can't control themselves. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world, what they're doing. When it comes to you, It's uh, they can't control it. It's scary for them. It's scary for certain people. All right, Spirit. Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm telling... When I tell y'all, for those that don't know, when you got a gift and you have it, these cards just help us navigate what we already... No, and it's confirmed. I'm telling you, this is your soulmate. This person has been crying because all of a sudden, I just want to fucking cry. You might have, honey, you did what you needed to do, okay, in this situation. Because you gave this person pure love and they know that. And now they know why, because you guys are soulmates. And this is what's going to bring you in an engagement. This person wants to get engaged to you. This person wants to marry you. Because nothing even matters at all. This person is going to come back in being a little flirty, being a little playfulness. It could be just, you know, 
you know, like I said, to recapture the romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And that's what they're going to do. They might text you, might send you something funny is what I just heard. Something that, you know, that just to make you laugh is really what they're doing is trying to break the ice. So you guys can engage in a car in a, in, a, in a conversation, yeah, because they want to heal this. Your family to them, your soulmates. Period. So it's time for you guys to keep an open mind, and so this person is keeping an open mind. And um, when it comes to this connection and spirit, is also pushing you guys to keep an open mind because your soulmates. The lovers card. This person's in love with you. They know exactly who you are. And didn't I tell you, for some of you guys, they could have shied away from you. They could have entertained other people, but the bond and the connection ain't there. It's with you too. You can see it clear as day over this car. And didn't I tell you, spirit, you see that angel there, is getting them ready, has been giving them downloads and preparing them to reach out to you because they know that you guys are soulmates. Yeah, and the tire hit. This person, just the thought of you being with someone else, they're going to lose their effing mind. Because nothing even matters at all. Four cups. This person is sad, missing you. They know that you're the love of their life. They know exactly who you are. But it's another reason why they shy away from you and they're scared of you. Because nothing even matters. For you. For you. It's just staying in my head. I can't stop the song. Okay, ooh. This person is secretly making moves towards you because you are their wish fulfillment, nine of cups. That's the truth of the matter here. Ooh, child, we got judgment in reverse. They know they have made wrong choices. I heard even wrong decisions here when it came to you guys' relationship. And there is infidelity involved, night of one sexual energy. And this person is also regretting that with the moon card. Yep, they feel like a fool. Also, this person wants to come back towards you here. Yes, they do, honey. Because like I said, you're their true ten of cups. Even in this card, you see how she's sitting there? On her motherfucking throne. Yes, I'm going there today. And look at him. He sees her. He notices her. But he's going a whole nother way. She's holding something in her hand. Yeah. And they know that you got the key to their heart. Everything they need. Their oyster. It's, in, it's right in her hand. This man is shining away. In this card in the Ten of Cups. Because she makes him nervous. The full plate, the jewels, everything is all within you. They know that. It scares them. This this is the kind of person where, um, you know, real love makes them nervous. It makes them nervous. Real love. This King of Pentacles. I'm searching for a real love. Yeah. This person um is coming in. When they come back, they're going to be in the King of Pentacles energy. This is the type of person where you're probably not going to make it. And the, the energy is going to be so strong. Once they get that sign from you that it's the green light, they're coming. The full card. This person could be coming, making this message or coming towards you towards the nighttime. Something specific about Scorpio season or you could be a Scorpio. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, as well, but they're coming. You guys are going to make it through the front door because this person's going to rip your clothes off. For some of you guys, I just heard robe. Even in this court, she's trying to hold the rope from falling off the floor. Baby, let it fall on the floor. Let it, just let, let it fall on the floor. It's, it's all right. We ain't tripping. Okay. So now we got that all cleared and set down. Let's go ahead and do some clarification here. This person is healing. They want to heal this and they want your balance. See, the thing is your earth angel. You heal this person. Healing family issues. There could have been some family issues that this person has dealt with when it comes to love, the way they see things, and you heal that for them. They don't know this, yeah, in the death card. Some things, like I said, needed to end it. You ended things. You healed things for them. I want you to see this. Temperance in a death card. And with the seven of swords, that's what they was not expecting. They wasn't expecting you to be that energy. See, they didn't know you was an earth angel.
This also is another reason why they're a little bit defensive. Also, for some of you guys that are spiritual, yeah, this person could, it could like I said, make them nervous. All right. There's many levels. It don't mean you have to be like a tarot reader or like a medium. Some of you guys are just extremely intuitive. Okay. Yeah. And that's the truth. And this is what this person is coming to give you the truth. All right. I want to get into this nine of ones in reverse spirit. Why is that here for the collective? Bye. -bye. This King of Cups. Yeah. See, and they're used to, yep. <sighs> this person is used to certain kind of relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're used to certain kind of relationships, and they realize that it, it, it they don't want no one else by you. They know that staying in this ways. Stand in this way and stand in their ways. This won't change. Nothing will change. And that's another reason why they're they're coming back towards you. Okay. Um, because this is someone else, like I said, for a lot of you guys, I realize they do want this love. Um, the six of ones in reverse. They won't find this nowhere else. Three of pentacles in reverse. They won't find this nowhere else. It's you. You're the soulmate. They know this. Yep, this king of cups. They know this. Yeah, this person has a lot of sexual energy for you. Yeah, they do. Also, this is someone who could have tried to even find you somewhere else, and they can't. Now they don't want to. Yep, justice. This, this is all they want. They're coming back for justice. What's this moon card? Oh, child. Yeah, I told you. What I tell you? What the? What did I tell you? This person is secretly missing you. The Knight of Wands. They're on a journey back to you. There's a lot of passion and fire with you. You are the Nine of Wands to this person. The sexual chemistry is too strong. They can't deny it no more. It's it, it, it's it's like they're ready to explode, in every which way. Yeah. Also, some of you guys could be into um, someone um, that was into working out. This person is being guided right towards you because you're divine energy. Because you guys are soulmates. They're planning this. This person has been in sorrow. They've been thinking. Someone here has also been crying. And everything points right back to you with the star card. Why is the judgment in reverse? Someone here also, like I said, um, no, they made wrong choices. Not only being um greedy in this relationship but they made wrong choices on you on the connection on building this connection in this relationship and this love with you what is this oh. yeah three cups what i tell you yeah, they made a wrong choice. For some of you guys, it definitely was a third party. Like I said, they could have even tried to find you and someone else. Yep, the Queen of Pentacles. And it didn't work out. Yep, no, it didn't. Yeah, uh-uh. Yeah, Nine of Swords. And now they're worried. They're, they they want to come back. For some of you guys, they're worried about this other thing coming out. Their secret getting exposed. Okay. Um, When it comes to this Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. Yeah, but see, this is leading them right back to you. Six of, six of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse. This person is being guided by spirit to come back to you because you're soulmates. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. We're not human beings having a spiritual, uh, 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 um, having a spiritual experience. All right. I'm trying to see what I want to clarify. Let me see. Lauren is, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I told you. This person is coming back to you um, to make you an offer that, you, that that they can't that you can't refuse, all right, because they love you. They're in the King of Cups energy. Now, I'm going to say this, too, here with the King of Cups energy. Didn't I say someone could be talking to a Scorpio? Yeah. For some of you guys, you're definitely connected with a Scorpio or Libra. For some of you guys... Like I said, I could be picking up the energy on you or your person. Because this could be you having another person come in or a soulmate. For some of you guys, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Let me, yeah. For some of you guys, this is your twin coming back in. Now, thank you, Spirit. For some of you guys that are moving in or, or getting um, a soulmate, this is when your other your, your twin is going to come back and because they realize who you are and they're going to want you. You're going to have to make a choice between two. What is the full card? 
Yeah, this Queen of Cups. See, the Queen and the King of Pentacles came out, and so did the Queen and the King of Cups. They know exactly who you are. Yeah, and this person's coming to make communication towards you. So you need to get ready. Yeah, honey, and they're juggling. Yes, child. Yeah, this person's obsessed. Obsessed. This Emperor. He's obsessed with communicating with you. He's obsessed with you because he knows who you are. See, he didn't have the the, the the spiritual discernment at the time to make discerning decisions when it comes to you in a relationship. But they do now. Yeah. Let me something on his king and queen of cups. Thank you, spirit. Yep. You're the person of their dreams. We got the seven of cups there um, all as well. Okay. Page of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. For some of you guys, this is... A, for some of you guys... Gosh, I got to say this. That is resonating with your twin coming back. They're coming back because, because they can feel the energy of you moving on and you getting a soulmate. And they are coming in being tricky. Yes, they are, because they're blocking you from moving on from them, because now they want this. The thing about this that makes me angry is when you get your soul bait and your family ready to move on and let go. Why does it work like that? It always does. Even when you're manifesting, you have to allow the universe to work for you. You can't control it. Once you just give it to God and give it to the universe and just let it and, and go with the flow, this is when the shit really gets real. That's when manifestation really takes place. And now they're coming in the way they should have been in the first place. And a lot of you guys, like I said, they coming in to block that they don't want you to get a soulmate. Yep, I told my God, I'm telling you, four ones, my twin flame card. Told you, you guys are twins. So, you know, some of you guys, like I said, with the Six of Pentacles, thank you, Spirit, um, Taurus energy there, you're going to have to make a decision. Do you want your twin when they come back? Or or you want to go with a soulmate? You're going to have that option. And it's not going to be easy. And I just heard it ain't going to be pretty. Let's say hell of a situation. You got your soulmate and you got your goddamn twin. That's a hell of an option. That's a hell of a position to choose. And you guys might have to take some time off to get your, your thoughts and your clarity together for so you can go ahead and make a justly justified decision on what is best to do and what you want in your life. Period. Because the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Do you hear them alarms? I don't know if you hear them sirens. That's confirmation from the universe. Yeah. Give me more on this nine of cups, please, spirit. Yep. And there's all kind of chaos and confusion. It came right back out. Yeah. This person is trying to get their strength to speak up. Yep. Because they're, they're, they're missing you. They can't hold it no more. They're sad. And I told you, someone here has been crying. So for a lot of you guys, you're going to have to go ahead and... And figure out what you really want. I feel like you've been innocent in this situation more than they have. Okay, because for some of you guys, you maybe you also dated a little bit. Because for some of you guys, this could be your energy. Okay, energy is energy, whether you're your masculine energy or your feminine energy. You know where you are in this. Oh my, I knew I was going to see this card. They're coming to give you loyalty. That's why spirit made me pull this deck. Yep. Surprise! I want you back in my life. This time, I'm going to be loyal. This time, I'm going to be right. This is your twin right here. I'm telling you right now. Yep. And for some of you guys, yep, you're a young, beautiful woman. That's how they see you. Yeah. And you make this person happy. Fortune. Like I said, for some of you guys, you are very intuitive. And they see you. I told you. You're their sweetheart. All right, can I get a couple messages from this person? You need to know. Ooh. Surprise! <laughs> here they is. Come, I told you, they're coming to pop up because nothing even matters. And here comes this conversation. This is what's going to change your life. What are you going to do? Is it going to be your soulmate or is it going to be your twin? Yep. What are you going to do? What do you want God is blessing you right now. Yep, with this loyalty. What do you want? You deserve this. 
So for a lot of you guys, I almost want to cry. Oh my God, for some of you guys, I just want to say congratulations. Because either way it go here, you're going to win. It's up to you now to make the truth on what you want. Give to the passion. I can't make this shit up. Yeah. Look, affirmations for positive change. Meditation for clarity. And this is what this is all about. This person has gotten the clarity they needed to come towards you. And now they, and, and this is another thing that I'm going to say when it comes to Twin Flame. The timing could be crazy because this person, for a lot of you guys that resonate with the Twin Flame part of this, they took their good time and a soulmate's going to be already at your doorstep. So you now you have a choice. Now they ask. Now the roles has been flipped. Now it's up to you. Now you have a choice on what you want. And this person is praying and wishing that you'll accept that ass back. Okay, spare. What else we need to know? Yeah, I told you someone's been crying. Tears of joy and sadness. For some of you guys, this is going to make you cry. Because somebody has to go, whether it's your soulmate or your twin. This is a hell of a position. Yeah, transformation for change. This is this is this is a hell of a a, a, a hell hell of a position. I'm telling you. Perception. You're going to see the clear picture. Some of you guys, you've been exhausted through this whole journey. It's been a lot, a lot of crying, a lot of up and down. And this person knows, especially the twin. Flame part of this knows. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, because I did for at it because they abandoned you. They did. They abandoned you on this journey. And that's why when they come back, they're gonna to have to sit there. For some of you guys, there it's gonna be hard for them too, and they're gonna cry because you got a soulmate. Magic in reverse. For some of you guys, all the spiritual attacks, all the things that have been thrown, especially in the twin flame journey, it's over. That's why the soulmate's here. Yep, and this person's going to need you to listen. Hear them out. This is what your twin is going to want because of the soulmate. All right. Yep. Told you, revelations. Spirit, God, I told you, Australian worlds, wandering between realms, has been speaking to this person. They know exactly who you are. And for some of you guys, this is revelations for this person. Choices and their consequences. It's a consequence this person's going to have to face. Yep, but I tell you. They knew that they, they knew this. They on God's time. The will of fortune has came in reverse. Time is out. Time is up. They were on God's time. That's why you, it, it is true that we have timing. God is not going to make you sit until you 97 for love. Because this person can't get their shit right. You get a soulmate. That's what's happening. This person knows that. Oh my God, I was about to say this. Because there are choices and the consequences that they make. I told you. That they make. So this is their karma. Yep. Yeah. And we have dragons, horde protection of the future. This is you getting yourself together, 12 breaking down to three on what you want to do. Some of you guys, you need to um, make the choices that you want in your life. What is it going to be, this soulmate or this twin flame? That's what exactly what this is. Because nothing even matters at all. This is what it's all about. Life is about living, loving, being your true, authentic self. Happiness. Who don't want pure happiness? Nothing even matters. They get it now. They get it now. Now they're ready to give into the passion. I can go through some of the toughest times in my life. But with the right person on my side, I can make it through anything. You can make it through anything. And this is what this is. Because nothing even matters. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm going there. Because this twin flame journey is something else. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Ooh, thank you. Aries. So for some of you guys, you can have an Aries placement. You, you could be an Aries. You could be connecting with an Aries. 
11. My twin flame number. Isn't that funny? Um, this could be happening the next 11 weeks, 11 days, 11 months. I ain't going to say 11 years, child. Now, I ain't, I ain't going to go that far. But for some of you guys, you know, 11 um, definitely is a twin flame number. For some of you guys, this is your twin Aries. It's also about leadership and passion. Given to your passion. Oh, my God. Yes, it's right here. That's what Aries is about, their leaders. This person is coming in to take their place in your life. But God is going to give it to you to make a decision because they played around. They wasted a lot of time. Twin soulmate. You're at, I'm done. I'm telling y'all Uranus is here. Uranus is about spirituality, about awakening. This, this person is going through a very deep spiritual awakening. And they already have already. And that's what another thing that's bringing them back. Revelations. That's another thing that is bringing them right back to you. Yeah. 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 Like I said, diving into a task. Deep diver. This person's been digging deep because God's been making them to get their self right. Because if they're not going to take this journey, then get out the way and let's get a soulmate in there for you. Because you still have a life to live, whether your twin is going to honor you or not. It's not going to be the end of the world. You're going to be able to love again and move on. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I'm going to leave it there. For some of you guys, use your discernment. You have a choice to make. You need to know nothing else even matters at all to, to them. All right, when this person comes back, you ain't got a second guess. You ain't got to know. You're going to know when you see them. Yeah, okay. It's real. It's happening now. Make your choice. I love you guys. Congratulations. Whether you choose your twin or your soulmate, I almost want to cry for you because I feel the tears of joy and sadness in a tear. I feel like you feel it too. This is um a moment of transformation. So, yeah. All right. Um, divine masculines and divine feminines. I love you all. Stay dope. I will catch you in your next video, guys. If I resonated with you in any way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, make sure you guys share to um, the channel. That's another way to put your energy on the channel, too, to make an energetic donation so I can pull more beautiful messages for you guys. I love you guys. Stay dope as fuck, and I will catch you next time. Ashe.